In this video, we will discuss about the various Webhavi settings and how they can affect the mining performance and accuracy. So, if you go to Webhavi settings, the first page is the miner settings and the first option is to automatically remove duplicate records while mining. If th this option is enabled, then Webhavi will automatically remove all duplicate data from the data table in the miner window. So it makes sure that no two rows are exactly the same in the finer miner windows data table. And then we have these two options which can affect the mining performance and consistency. And the first is the page load timeout. This is the maximum amount of time which Webhavi will wait for a page to load. So the default value of the setting is 30 seconds. So 30 seconds is the maximum amount of time which the miner will wait for a page to load. If the page does not load within 30 seconds, it will retry once and then the mining can stall or abort or it can proceed to the next page. But if a page loads within 5 seconds, it will not wait for the 30 seconds. It will go to the next option which is the Ajax load wait time which is the amount of time which, which the miner will always wait after page load. So this is to make sure that all elements of the page are correctly loaded, especially those Ajax elements which are loaded via JavaScript. So the five seconds, if you provide a higher value like 10 seconds, the miner will always wait for 10 seconds after page load, just to make sure that all elements are completely loaded. Now, these two values can be changed for two scenarios. One is during mining, if you are not getting complete data in the data table, if you feel that some data are missing or the mining does not get any data at all, then you need to increase both these values. You need the miner, uh, you need to give the miner enough time to load the page and also enough time for all uh, dynamic elements on the pay of the of the page to get loaded. On the other hand, if you feel that the mining is completely okay, but it is a bit slow and you need to increase the speed of the mining, then you can decrease both these values. Depending on your internet speed, the Ajax load wait time can be decreased to one or two seconds, provided that it does not result in missing data. Now we have these options to prevent IP blocking. And the first option is to pause the miner periodically during extraction. And this will prevent the miner to make continuously to continuously make a request to the server. It breaks, it gives the miner a break periodically. And there is also a human emulation board where the miner will try to mimic a human user instead of uh, sending requests to the server at very predictable time intervals. It will add random pauses between each action. So the remote website actually thinks that. Uh, the end user is actually a user and not a bot or a software. And then you have this option to automatically save the mining data and you can specify the number of records or rows after which data backup should be taken. Now this helps to save the data to a file and make sure that you do not lose the data in case of an abnormal program termination. And now let's go to the browser settings. Now this applies both to the configuration browser, which we see here, and also to the virtual browser, which Webhavi uses during mining. And the first option is to disable loading images. Now this helps to improve the mining speed because the miner does not need to download and display images and the speed will increase. But in the configuration browser, you won't be able to see any images. So you can turn this option all only, I mean, you can turn this option on only for mining so that during configuration, you can see the images and during mining, performance will be increased. And then you have the option to enable or disable JavaScript, which is required for most websites. So it's better that you keep this turned on. Then we have the enable web security plugin and you can share the location, your location to the website. If you do not check this, then your location will not be shared to the website. And then we also have the option to disable cookies while mining. So when this option is enabled, 
Mapavi will periodically delete cookies during mining. Now, cookies helps websites to store data regarding your visits and your options which you have selected on a website locally on your computer. It's also one of those uh, things that which the remote website uses to track you and also to track your usage access. So if you need to avoid being detected by the website if you want to remain anonymous then we recommend that you turn this option on but for some websites cookies are required for websites functionality so in those cases you need not you should not enable this option and then if you click this button webhavi will delete the cache and browsing history of its browser and all settings and passwords and everything which you have saved will be de deleted and then we have the proxy settings which helps you connect to the remote website not directly but through a proxy server if you go to our website uh, and in the help section you can see this page called scrape via proxy server which explains how this setting page can be used in detail and you, here you can provide the proxy server address port and if it requires authentication you can also provide username and password and the, then you can add the proxy server to your proxy server list by clicking this plus button you can use any one proxy server in the list or you can make the puppy rotate through each of the proxy servers periodically you also have the option to import proxy lists from a file and also to test them moving on we have the category keyword uh, settings which applies to category scraping as well as keyword scrapping. If the tag with category keyword option is enabled, then during mining, Webhavi will add an additional row in the final data table tagged with the keyword name or the category page URL from which the data was extracted. Now this helps to categorize the mined results depending on from which category or keyword they came from. And for scrape a list of similar links option you have the option to disable pattern detection so if this option is enabled then you have the option to click each link which you need to extract manually one after the other but how will not try to automatically find the pattern of links you can click on each link which you need to scrape and then finally you can click on any empty space to start data selection and then we have the settings for images this is only for the image file name so this decides how the image or the downloaded images will be named and the default option is to automatically name them from the na from their name in the URL string that is the name provided by the website itself but you also have the option to name the downloaded images based on the value of another column in the data table so if you have already extracted the product name for example then you can name the images based on the product name so if the product name is iPhone, for example, the images for the product which is downloaded will be named as iPhone.png or JPEG as applicable. So these are the WebHavi settings. If you go to our website and go to help section and click on settings, we have this detailed page which explains all these settings in detail. We hope you find this video useful. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Thank you.